Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Cohen's D. I'm going to explain what it is, and I'm going to give some examples. And I'll also note at the start that when I use the words or the word, uh, the term Cohen's D, uh, I actually mean it in a more genericized way to refer to uh, other indexes that are similar, such as Glass's Delta and Hedges G. So here's the outline of the presentation. Cohen's D, what is it? What is its purpose? How is it estimated? How is it interpreted? I'll go through an example and some final considerations. So Cohen's D, what is it? It's a standardized measure of effect size. Uh, another way to say it is it's the ratio of the difference between two means divided by the quote unquote uh, standard deviation. And I've got the in quotations because how it is that you estimate that standard deviation uh, portion of the formula will determine what kind of D index, Cohen's D index, if you will, uh, that you're actually performing. Another way to say it is that it's an estimate of the difference between two means expressed in standard deviation units. The reason why this is important is that Cohen's D allows us to interpret the size of an effect that was found in a study that's independent of the scale that was used to make measurements. So then anyone can m read the study who understands Cohen's D and they can understand if they got a big effect size or not. And even though they might not know anything about the type of measurement they used. So I'm going to also go through the Cohen's D different types. So the three types of Cohen's D or D indexes. Glasses Delta, Cohen's D, and Hedges G. And basically what's happened, which is a bit unfortunate, is that Cohen's D is so popular that it seems like people use the word in a genericized way to refer to any type of effect size index that involves the difference between two means that's divided by some estimate of the standard deviation. Even though Cohen's D is actually a specific one. It's kind of like calling a Xerox uh, a photocopier a Xerox, for example. So Cohen's D, what is its purpose? It allows the evaluation of the size of an effect in a study that is independent of scale. As I mentioned earlier, it doesn't matter what kind of measurement somebody used to measure the dependent variable. If you know Cohen's D and it's reported in that study, then you can interpret the effect size. Allows for the comparison of effect sizes from analysis to analysis because different studies will have different measures forms the basis of meta-analyses. Meta-analyses combined effect sizes across a number of studies to help estimate a, pop, a better estimate of the population effect size. And it forms the basis of power analyses. So very briefly, if you want to estimate the sample size that you're going to need to have an 80% chance of rejecting the null hypothesis, you need to specify how big of an effect you expect to observe. That's Cohen, that's where Cohen's D comes in as one example. Cohen's D, how is it formulated? This is the basic formula of what you might call, and some people call, all D indexes, even though only one of them is called D, and that's Cohen's D. And it's basically the difference between two means divided by some estimate of the standard deviation. So Glass's delta that's what I'll go through first because I think it's the simplest one. And Glass's Delta is used in the context of um, intervention studies uh, that you might see in clinical psychology or, or medical sciences. So there's a, an intervention group and there's a control group. And the difference between the intervention group and the mean and the control group mean is divided by, and this is important, the control group standard deviation. You don't take an average of the two standard deviations, you actually use the standard deviation for the control group. It's used in intervention type studies, and you can use it in control group. I've seen it used in baseline type studies too, so it's time one, time two, there's no control group, but to estimate the effect size, they use the standard deviation at time one, which is uh, arguably Glass's delta. Now Cohen's D is uh, different because it takes into account both the uh, standard deviation or variances associated with both sample means. So the mean one, mean two, the difference between the two, divided by the square root 
of this ratio here, which is basically variance multiplied by its sample size, and the va second variance multiplied by 